This week we're going to be talking about alignment, somewhat of a tricky subject. Um, obviously coaching at a range full time, I see lots of people come down and practice, many of which aren't really aiming at any specific target. If each shot in golf was a task, the task is obviously to be able to hit that ball towards our intended target that we are lined up with. Looking at the mat, I've set up a little visual aid. The flag stick in this instant is represented by the red cone. We've got two clubs going through the ball, representing our ball to target line, and one club inside that line parallel, which is our body alignment. This is called the leading edge. That's the bit that needs to be pointing directly towards our intended target. Now that we understand the relationship of the leading edge has and that we need to align this squarely, I wanted to show you what that now looks like as we put it behind the ball. The leading edge of the club, the white lines, are pointing straight through the ball towards my intended target. That is what we call a square position. We have two positions that we don't want to get into. The first, is an open position where the lines on the face are pointing right of our intended target. That is obviously going to impart the wrong spin on the ball. Then we've got the opposite position which we call closed, where the lines of the face are pointing left of our intended target. So I'm going to move my feet so that they are parallel to the club that's on the ground. This represents my body alignment. My feet, knees, hips, and shoulders all run parallel. If you can imagine standing on a railway line, the outer line being our ball to target line, target line and the inside, and the line, inside line, our body alignment. Our body alignment. Both lines, Both are, lines parallel, are parallel, pointing directly, pointing towards, directly our towards our target. Okay, a really quick, easy way to set yourself up when you're practicing to make sure we're aligned correctly and that our ball position is correct is as follows. All I want you to do is put down, first of all, a line representing your body alignment. The second line would be for our ball alignment, ball to target line. The third representing ball position. So next week we're going to be looking at posture.